Increasing testosterone may greatly impact your general well-being and energy levels. Today, we're diving into the techniques of Dr. Andrew Huberman and Dr. Eric Berg of how to quickly raise your testosterone levels. Often known as the male hormone, testosterone is very vital for both men's and women's health. Not only does testosterone influence mood and cognitive ability to bone density and cardiovascular health, it also influences muscular mass and libido. Men's testosterone levels have been dropping roughly 1% annually in recent years, a worrying trend. This decline influences mental as well as physical health. Still, don't panic. Today we're looking at natural, scientifically supported strategies to raise your testosterone thereby perhaps reversing this tendency in your own body. First, let us consider Dr. Andrew Huberman's viewpoint. He underlines the need of realizing the complex dance hormones in our body perform. Testosterone is part of a complicated system, including estrogen, cortisol, and even neurotransmitters like dopamine. It does not act alone. Among Dr. Huberman's main observations is the strong effect light exposure has on testosterone levels. Though it sounds shocking, your hormone levels throughout the day can be much changed by exposure to strong light, particularly in the morning. Within an hour of waking up, he advises spending two to 10 minutes directly in sunshine. Bright artificial light can also be quite useful if sunshine is not accessible. Let us now shift now to Dr. Eric Berg's method. He emphasizes quite strongly the part diet and lifestyle play in testosterone generation. Among his main arguments is the need of cholesterol. You did really hear correctly, cholesterol. Actually, Dr. Berg says, testosterone comes from cholesterol. Therefore, in terms of testosterone generation, excessively low cholesterol diets may be causing more damage than benefit against common knowledge. Both professionals agree that testosterone generation depends critically on sleep. Most daily testosterone release according to Dr. Huberman, happens during deep sleep. Dr. Berg says that making sure your bedroom is cold and dark will help you to improve the quality of your sleep. They advise trying for seven to nine hours of nightly quality sleep. Regarding workout, both doctors stress the need of resistance training. Large muscular group activities like squats and deadlifts, according to Dr. Huberman, can greatly increase testosterone generation. He advises concentrating on compound movements and keeping sessions somewhat brief and intense between 30 and 45 minutes. Regarding protein intake, Dr. Berg makes a provocative comment. Although muscular development depends on protein, he advises avoiding too high intake. He claims that too much protein can indeed be turned to glucose, which raises insulin levels and so reduces testosterone. For most adults, he advises a modest protein intake, between six and eight ounces each meal. One area of great agreement among the doctors is the harmful effect of persistent stress on testosterone levels. According to Dr. Huberman, our main stress hormone, cortisol levels can lower testosterone generation. He advises including daily meditation or deep breathing exercises as stress-reducing activities. Deep breathing exercises are a useful tool for Dr. Berg to help with stress. To help reduce cortisol levels, he advises just a few minutes daily of deep diaphragmatic breathing and your whole hormonal balance may be much improved by this basic habit. Let us now explore some more particular dietary recommendations. Strong supporter of zinc supplements. Dr. Berg advises men trying to raise their testosterone roughly 100 milligrams daily. He says that typically decreased in our current diets, zinc is vital for testosterone generation. Among good sources of zinc are oysters, steak, and pumpkin seeds. Dr. Huberman stresses the need of vitamin D, even though he also notes the need of zinc. He notes that vitamin D is absolutely essential for testosterone generation and functions more in our bodies like a hormone than a vitamin. Particularly if you live in an area with little sunlight, he advises getting your vitamin D levels tested and, if needed, supplementing. Both doctors caution against using soy products, especially soy protein, isolates in excess. These have the ability to replicate estrogen in the body 
so reducing testosterone levels. Dr. Huberman discusses the possible benefits of intermittent fasting. Short fasting times, he says, can boost synthesis of growth hormones, which usually corresponds with rising testosterone levels. If desired, he advises beginning with an overnight 12-hour fast window and progressively extending it. Dr. Berg agrees, noting that intermittent fasting can also assist regulate insulin levels, which is essential for preserving normal testosterone generation. He underlines how much timing of your meals matters as much as what you consume. Huberman says that frigid temperatures, that of cold showers or ice baths, may indeed raise testosterone levels. This operates, he says, by turning brown fat in the body active, therefore affecting hormone generation. He advises beginning your shower with 30 to 60 seconds of cold exposure at the end, then progressively extending the length. Berg emphasizes the need of liver health for hormone balance. To promote liver function and assist in the body's clearance of extra estrogen, he advises eating cruciferous vegetables such as kale and broccoli. These veggies include substances that enable the liver to more effectively handle hormones. Both doctors underline the need of lowering environmental estrogen exposure from plastics and some personal care products. They advise choosing natural, chemical-free, personal care products and storing food in glass containers. This can assist your body be less affected by these hormone-disrupting substances. According to Huberman, dopamine is a sometimes disregarded component in testosterone synthesis. It is possible, according to him, for activities that naturally enhance dopamine levels, such as learning new skills or engaging in enjoyable activities that you take pleasure in, to help boost your testosterone. He exhorts participating in activities that challenge you beyond your comfort zone and yield a sense of accomplishment. Berg further notes that some herbs, including Tonkat Ali and Ashwagandha, have shown potential to naturally raise testosterone levels. Still, he stresses the need of first addressing fundamental lifestyle issues before considering supplements. Before starting any new supplement program, he advises seeing a medical practitioner. Maintaining a good body fat percentage is, both experts believe, absolutely essential for best testosterone levels. Excess body fat, according to Dr. Huberman, can cause higher aromatase activity, an enzyme that turns testosterone into estrogen. To reach and keep a good body composition, he advises concentrating on nutrition and exercise combined. For people trying to shed weight, Dr. Berg provides a useful advice, concentrate on reducing insulin levels with a low carb, high fat diet. This method, he claims, supports good testosterone generation while helping to lower body fat. Dr. Huberman discusses the intriguing connection between testosterone and behavior. He explains that not only does testosterone affect our conduct, but our testosterone levels might also change with our behavior. Short-term testosterone rises can result from competitive activity or simply adopting a confident posture. To possibly raise testosterone, he advises including competitive sports or little challenges into your schedule. Dr. Berg also notes that good social contacts and laughter might help to regulate hormones. He encourages looking for ways to include more happiness and socializing into daily life. This could be as basic as hanging out with friends, joining a club, or volunteering for a cause you care about. Regular visits and blood testing to track hormone levels are underlined by both doctors as vital. They advise against treating hormonal irregularities on your own without expert guidance. Regular visits enable you to monitor your development and make necessary adjustments to your supplement or lifestyle program. Let's review the main tactics for raising testosterone as we wind up. One, target seven to nine hours in a cool, dark area to maximize your sleep. Two, to control your circadian cycle, get early sunlight. Three, start resistance training with an eye toward compound motions. Four, control tension using techniques like meditation or deep breathing. Five, make sure food or supplements provide enough vitamin D and zinc. Six, 
Think about intermittent fasting to help hormone production. Seven, buy the healthy right food and exercise. Keep your body fat percentage in a good shape. Eight, cut your exposure to environmental estrogens in personal care items and plastics. Nine, add foods high in testosterone-boosting nutrients like grass-fed meats and cruciferous vegetables. Ten, never undervalue the force of laughter and good social contacts. Remember, Increasing testosterone goes beyond only physical wellness. It's about maximizing your whole wellness, vitality, and zest for life. These scientifically supported techniques from Dr. Huberman and Dr. Berg help you invest in a more vibrant, energetic version of yourself, rather than only looking for increased testosterone levels. Although these techniques can be useful for many people, individual results will vary. Before making significant changes to your diet or lifestyle, always consult a healthcare practitioner, especially if you have any underlying medical issues. Which of these approaches then most excites you to try? Every little action you take, from changing your diet to cold showers to merely spending more time in the sunlight, helps to improve hormonal balance. Remember that optimizing hormones mostly depends on consistency. We appreciate you traveling this road through the science of testosterone optimization. Remember to subscribe to our channel if you find this material useful and wish to learn more about maximizing your health. Here's to your health, vitality, and the finest version of you.